to Two Birds. I'm Fiona. Welcome back if you've practiced with me before. Today's class is the first of the morning series of Vinyasa Flow classes. And each class will build on the previous class and follow a similar structure. And so it's a complete flow. We'll do a gentle warm up standing balancing series uh, including twists and back bends and inversion and then pranayama and meditation and it's really my hope that you'll feel motivated to practice more regularly perhaps in the morning and uh, experience your own unique benefits from practicing regularly and also progress your own skills and proficiency and just move through your days with more ease and intention. This particular class today is a 30 minute gentle flow and uh, all you'll need for practice is a blanket and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice coming into child's pose at the back of your mat, taking your knees wide, big toes to touch, and resting down between your thighs, extending your arms forward. Take a gentle pause before inviting some movement into your body, resting your forehead, closing your eyes, connecting with your breath. Breathing slow, Deep breath. In the morning time is such an auspicious time to practice. Your mind is quiet and impressionable and more fertile to positive suggestion. And given you're the first person to talk to yourself at this time, take a few moments to Say a few kind words of intention, clear and thoughtful. The kind of qualities you'd like to bring forth into your day. And take three more cycles of breath. And as you feel yourself breathe in, glide up onto all fours, bring your hands under the shoulders and step the knees underneath the hips and cycle through three rounds of cat and cow. Letting you breathe, aerate your lungs as you move, breathing space into the front and back of your spine. When you're ready, returning to neutral spine, extend your right leg back, your left arm forward to hover and balance. Pause here for three breaths, using the strength of your back body to find stability, activating your abdominal core, drawing your side waist in to meet your navel. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, release just your left hand to the floor and start to reach your right leg over to your left, setting down your foot and leaning out into your right side waist for a lateral stretch. You can send the gaze out over your left shoulder. Make your way back to centre and we'll switch sides. Left leg, right arm. Posterior muscles engage, supporting you low belly firm. Reach to the edge of your fingers, all the way out to your heel. Take a deep breath in. Right hand to the mat and lead your left leg over to your right behind you. Set your foot down 
and now fan out through your left side ribs. One more deep breath in. On your exhale, return all fours. Set your buttocks down to your heels, child's pose. Knees are about hip width apart now. Arms extending forward. And then on an inhale, glide up all fours. Keep sending your chest forward and lower yourself slow to the floor. We'll set up for Sphinx pose. Walking forward onto your forearms, extending all ten toes back, engaged legs. And then just gently arch your spine into a uniform back bend. Invite your shoulder blades to melt down your spine. Sending your ribs forward, your heart high. Stay for another cycle of breath. And release. Place your hands now by your low ribs. Make your way into downward facing dog. Find some space in your stride between your feet and your hands. And just linger there for a few breaths. Pairing that time with your full breath. Intention and attention. Exploring any movement that feels good. Settle into stillness. Take one more cycle of breath. Lightly bending the knees, looking forward. And we're going to step up into a squat, malasana. Stepping your feet wider than your hips. And sitting down at any amount on the back of your calves. Bringing your hands to prayer. Invite your groins to soften, your inner thighs to widen. And as you encourage your body awake, feel free to bring a little rhythm and movement into your shapes. Perhaps lifting, spreading your toes here, transferring your weight left and right. Drawing the back of your skull back in space, lifting upright through the spine. And then from here, transition into an easy forward fold, lifting up, rearranging your feet hips width, parallel there, catch opposite elbows and fold down over your thighs, soft bend in the knees. And again, if, if movement rather than stillness feels intuitive here, just go with it, staying present to all the feedback from your morning body. Release your hands to the floor, bend the knees even deeper and then just take a slow sip of breath in as you rise to stand. Reach your arms overhead, let your palms touch and rest your prayer hands to your heart centre. Two half sun salutes now, warming, strengthening, aligning your body. Sweep the arms overhead, breathing in. Exhale, bend the knees and forward fold over your legs. On your inhale, lift up halfway. Hands can come to the shins there, flat back. On your exhale, forward fold. Rise on up with your in-breath. Reach up tall. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer. One more round. Breathing in, reaching up tall. Exhale and dive forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale your halfway lift, strong legs, flat back. Exhale and refold over your legs. Come to stand with the wave of your in breath, sweep up. Breathing out, hands to heart. Two rounds, Surya Namaskar C with a twist now, breathing in, arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasan. On your exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, your halfway lift. 
On your exhale, step your right foot back into low lunge. Keep the fingertips down on the floor there. Take a few breaths. You are lightly engaging your right buttocks, pressing firmly down into your left heel. Your legs are active. Moving into a simple twist now, keep your right hand down. Slowly take the left hand up, revolving to your left. Keep hugging and engaging your outer left buttocks in. Breathe a deep breath, reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Stay with me. We're stepping up, top of the mat. Staying low, breathe in. Lift up halfway. On your exhale, step your left foot back. Low lunge, left knee to the floor. Pause for a few cycles of breath. Try and keep the shoulder blades in toward the midline of your spine so your chest is open. And you want to feel your lower body engaged there as you press the floor down and away. Act like you're scissoring your right heel back toward your left knee. And keep all those actions as you move into your twist. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. Take a smooth breath in. Exhale, release. Frame your right foot, stepping lightly back into your downward facing dog. We'll take a half flow now, moving slow, deliberately, ripple forward to your high push up, pause, and then bend the knees toward the floor, lift your hips up and back and return, downward facing dog. Once more through your half flow, breathing in high push up, breathing in out, Wave back, downward facing dog. Take three cycles of breath, smooth and slow. Feeling the warmth you're generating in your body. Circulating around your body with your breath. Breathing and looking forward. End of your exhale, travel to the top of your mat, feet hip width, on your inhale, lengthen up halfway, exhale and fold in, breathe in, rise to stand, exhale, hands to prayer. We'll go one more round, just like that, one movement, one breath, arms overhead, Forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, back muscles strong. On your exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Breathe in, chest opens. Exhale and twist, left hand to the ceiling. Reach up. Exhale and release, hands to the floor. Stepping up, stay low. Breathe in, exhale, left foot steps back into your low lunge. Take a full breath in here and then twist to your right. Reach up to the edge of your fingertips. Exhale and we'll flow, hands to the floor, stepping to your downward facing dog. Either pause here or oh, we'll take a couple of half flows, rippling forward, high pusher. Lower and hover the knees, and then hips up and back, downward facing dog. And again, with your breath, your timing. And we'll all meet up, downward facing dog. Make contact with your breath, with your intention. Centering your attention, fully inhabiting this moment. Next breath in, gazing forward. End of your exhale, stepping up, top of the mat. Breathe in, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, release and fold. Root down through your feet as you rise up, 
Reach up, spot your thumbs overhead. Exhale, pause. Tadasana. We'll keep it flowing, our arms over here, breathing in. Breathing out, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, open, collarbones wide. On your exhale, step your right foot back now for warrior two, long stride. Drop anchors into your feet as you lift upright. Stay for a few breaths, aligning your shape, scanning your arms, torso, legs and feet. So you're steady, active, easeful. And we'll flow on an inhale. Reverse your warrior, right hand down the right leg, left arm reaches up and back. Exhale for easy side angle, left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm up and overhead, just here for a beat. Breathing in, reverse. Exhale, side angle, Pashva Konasan. On your inhale, return to your warrior two. Lunge a little deeper. Stay for three more cycles of breath. As you feel yourself breathe out, we move your hands to the floor and step up top of the mat. Again, just stay low, breathing in, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, warrior two. Take a long stride, find your balance, settle in. Steady gaze. On your inhale, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. As you feel yourself breathe out, come into your side angle. Again, inhale, lift up and reverse. Exhale, return to your side angle. Reaching forward toward the front of the room, left fingertips, steady on your feet, breathing in, come back upright. Warrior two, pause here. Keep cultivating that relaxed alertness of your whole shape so you can make any adjustments to embody more steadiness, more ease as you breathe. One more breath here. On your exhale, release your hands to the floor, stepping quietly back to your downward facing dog. Just pause, check in, and either stay here or take a half flow if you'd like to keep moving forward to your plank, bend the knees, ripple back, downward facing dog. Inviting your breath to settle into its even rhythm. Relaxing the muscles at the back of your neck. Let your head fall heavy. Take one more full cycle of breath. Looking forward, breathing in. End of your exhales, step up, top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold a little closer toward your legs. Breathe in, rise up, stretch out, exhale, this time hands to your hips. You're going to balance now, coming into tree pose, standing on your right foot, spread the sole of your right foot, your toes, raise and place your left foot above or below your right knee. Hands to your heart centre. Try and imagine a plumb line through your body, a central channel from the center of your right foot all the way up to the roof of your mouth, standing steady. And in this moment of alertness, stillness, make contact with your breath, your intention. If you're feeling steady, arms overhead, Stand a little taller, 
and then from here spread the arms wide to a T and carefully step your left foot back into pyramid pose Pasvottanasana keep your hip points level two straight legs feet about hip width take your arms behind your back now and either take reverse prayer if it's available or hold opposite elbows with me staying upright breathing in lift the collarbones puff your chest let your legs grow long exhale folding forward over the midline of your right leg keep trying to merge the shoulder blades toward one another here so your chest is open lungs available and then just relax lengthen the base of your skull breathing in push firmly down through your right foot rise on up up release your arms wide and make your way into Trikonasana triangle pose might like a longer stride there let your heels line up and then just reaching forward out over your front leg send the left arm up toward the ceiling sharpening your legs straight elongating your spine equally from your low back extending through the middle of your back broadening the space across your upper back breathe in deeply exhale release hands to frame your right foot and you're stepping up top of the mat breathe in lengthen your spine exhale and fold in breathe in rise up reach up come to stand exhale hands to your hips left side now balancing in tree pose broaden spread your left base of support and then place your right foot on the inseam of your left leg the lower your left foot the lower the center of gravity making it more accessible to balance so adjust if you need to find your version and hold shorter more efficient breath here when you're balancing you're feeling steady slowly take the arms over here toward the ceiling and float the arms out wide to a T transitioning into your pyramid pose right foot steps back ground and seal your heel to the floor square your hips and then taking the hands behind the back into your bind either reverse namaste or hold your elbows breathing in lift and open your chest keep all that space along the front of your spine as you fold forward here so with your arms bound it'll feel uh, like a bit of a balance here so even more so if your feet are narrow so concentrate on making your out breaths a little longer so you're folding along with them and that should have a stabilizing effect on your shape and also your experience breathe in come all the way up preparing for triangle pose take the arms out wide perhaps a slightly longer stride give yourself a full cycle of breath to reach forward and then down so you are able to fully extend your left waist turn your chest open to the right see that your arms are fully engaged along with your legs and your abdominal core steady right at the center of your shape one more deep breath in exhale and release light bend in your left knee land the hands and step back downward facing dog and take a moment to land here breathe into your body and either take a half flow or pause and do less we'll all meet it back in downward facing dog and taking two more steady even breathe And 
from here we're going to make our way into a seat now lowering the knees to the floor and sweep your legs around in front we're going to set up for boat pose with your feet on the floor find your sitting bones and then slip your hands behind the back of your knees gently tip back onto the soft part of your buttocks raising your legs bring your calves parallel with the floor so with your hands for support there draw the knees a little closer in and sit tall through your spine you can either stay here or if you feel steady release your arms alongside your legs into your Ardha Navasana keep making space between your navel and your sternum and encourage your shoulder blades down your spine let's take one more breath in together on your exhale cross your right shin in front of your left shin coming into a forward fold but we're going to reach our arms up on our inhale on your exhale folding forward any amount over your legs keeping it soft and easeful on your exhales letting go of any restraint around the outer hips the inner thighs and then go ahead walk the hands back and we'll set up for one more boat pose finding that soft part of your buttocks raising your legs holding steady hands or hands free just prioritize your posture one more deep breath in exhale cross the left shin now in front of your right flexed toes and take your forward fold arms reach up get tall and then fold forward without pulling on your low back spine and if movement and rhythm feels good in this shape go right ahead rock a little side to side And walking your hands back and from here we're going to make our way down onto our backs have your folded blanket with you by your side and we're going to set up for two rounds of bridge pose and then a restorative inversion so lay down in the middle of your mat there bending your knees feet to the floor hips width apart and then take your toes slightly pigeon toed arms alongside your body stay with me here we're going to breathe in deep breath on your exhale engage your abdominals finding a neutral spine so there's a little hollow in your low back on your next breath in lifting up slowly into a bridge pose and let this feel like a passive arch for your back your back muscles can soften a little and you can let your legs and your buttocks take the effort of this shape so it doesn't need to be your deepest back bend just go 50% up and hopefully you'll find more space to enjoy the drape of your back from your pelvis down to your shoulders and one more deep breath in exhaling slowly lower down and then we'll reset for our final bridge so if you felt any pinching in your low back spine take your heels a little further away from your buttocks and then breathing in deep breath right up to the chest exhale firm the belly inhale returning to your bridge pose and once you're situated settle into the rhythm of your breathing as you inhale extend the chest toward the ceiling and your chin and then as you breathe out lengthen your low back and you can find more space there if you need it by reaching into your heels contracting your hamstrings and pull the sitting bones toward the back of your knees and then your front body becomes more available to open and lengthen 
Breathe in. Exhale and release down. Gather your knees in toward you and take a little rock side to side. From here we're going to move into a restorative inversion with our folded blanket. So just grabbing yours now and slip it underneath your buttocks and toward your lower back so you feel supported and comfortable. And take your arms alongside your body, smooth the skin through your upper back so you feel unwrinkled, your chin lightly in toward your chest and gently elevate the legs toward the ceiling. Shuffle your buttocks and the blanket if you need to, a little bend in the knees, if you're tighter in the hamstrings. And if you feel stable and comfortable, you can close your eyes and just settle in. We're here for about 10 breaths. And if it feels helpful for your stability and space in your body, you can take your arms into goalpost arms. I think this is one of the most approachable inversions and such a soothing way to wind down from your practice. It brings your body back into its own innate capacity for rest and self-healing. It's also really helpful for relieving pressure in your low back, reducing its curve and elongating your back muscles and hamstrings. Take a few more cycles of breath, just surrendering into your shape. And when you feel ready, bend the knees, take your feet to the floor, raising your buttocks and place your blanket out to one side. Then just tuck the knees in toward your chest. Rolling out to your right side, making your way all the way up or come to sit. Extending your legs out in front of you for a simple sage twist. Bend your right knee, take your foot to the floor, take your right fingertips behind you. As you breathe in, reach your left arm up toward the ceiling, lifting the low ribs up out of your hips. And then exhale, hug or hinge your elbow around your right knee. Take the next few breaths to revolve to your right. And invite your pelvis to move naturally in your twist. You can use the anchor of your left thigh and your right foot to create stability and integrity in your shape so you're not taxing the SI ligaments as you revolve. One more deep breath in here, opening your breath into your ribs and your chest. Exhale and release. Face forward. Take the next few breaths to reset for the opposite side. Mindfully sitting tall. Breathing into the parts of your torso where you have space. Lengthening up on your inhale. And twisting to your left now. And release. And extending both legs out straight, taking a blanket or a cushion underneath your sitting bone so you're supporting tighter hamstrings if you need to, flexing your toes, breathing your arms up toward the ceiling, Paschimottanasana, on your exhale fold out over your legs and your hands can arrive beside your legs, toward your feet or on your feet. Just let this fold feel easeful here at the end of your practice. And when you're ready, release and come into your most comfortable seat to practice a breathing exercise. It's called circular breathing. 
And then you'll have an opportunity to take a few moments to conclude your practice and seal your intention for your day ahead. And circular breathing is one that allows you to enter into a state of restful awareness. In this practice, we're going to refine the breath. So your inhales and exhales are the same length, but there's no gaps or involuntary pauses between your breath. So when you're ready, just sitting tall, take a moment to steady your posture. Bring the crown of your head over the base of your spine and gently close your eyes. First stage of this technique is to emphasize a quiet internal breath. So just breathing in and out through your nostrils and create a gentle contraction at the back of your throat. So there's this whispering sound as the air moves in and out. You should be able to feel it more than you can hear it. So the volume's low. Nice subtle vibration in the back of your skull. Now that you've refined the sound of your breath, work toward bringing your breath into balance. So your inhales and exhales are the same length. You're breathing an even, quiet breath, neither deep or shallow, just a comfortable rhythm. And as you continue to do this, begin to notice now any subtle breaks in the breath. Usually there is a little pause at the top of your inhale, bottom of the exhale. See if you can smooth out any of these gaps and allow your breath to circle continuously in and out. And just here for another minute now, practicing your quiet, even, unbroken breathe. And you can practice this any time really as a gateway for meditation or on its own. Any time you'd like to access calm, clear thinking and also to move forward with ease and clarity. And taking one more full circle of breath. And then just sit quietly, mind calm, body stable. And take this moment to return to your intention, sealing it now, something you'd like to commit to today, the qualities you'd like to bring forth. Setting your mind your day and yourself in that direction. Bowing your head toward your heart. Softly opening your eyes, lifting your gaze and greet your day. Thank you so much for joining me. 
And I do hope you have a beautiful day ahead. Namaste.